All right, guys, here it is. This is my review of the Leathershop.com's heirloom bag. And this is an outstanding bag, I gotta say. So I am a traveling consultant, and because of that, I'm pretty harsh on my bags. I go through bags roughly one every two years or so. They start coming off on the buckles, they start fraying and tearing, and just can't hold up to the kind of abuse I put them through. So this next time around, instead of buying another two to $300 bag, I decided let's spend a little bit more money and buy something that will last me years. Um, so first about the company. Um, I was on a trip to Seattle. And during that trip, I called the leather shop and I said, hey guys, can I take a look at one of your bags? They don't have a retail storefront. And they said, sure, absolutely. A uh, nice gentleman by the name of Ken met me at a coffee shop, showed me one of the bags, and I said, great, this is it, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna go buy it. So I did, I purchased it, and about two weeks later, I got the bag. Um, and it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. It wasn't this bag, it was a different bag. Um, same style, but they use Chromexel leather here. Uh, you'll see an image here in a second. Completely different coloring, completely different style. The threading was not contrast stitching, it was actually brown. Uh, not what I was expecting based on other videos I've seen on YouTube and based on what I've seen on their site. So I contacted them and I said, hey guys, this is a significant purchase for me and I hope that you can make this right and uh, send me what I expected to buy and expected to receive. And they did. They sent this and this is just outstanding. So first about the bag, it is made out of saddle leather, really durable stuff. Um, gonna be something that softens up over time. The coloring is a nice rich brown uh, across the bag. You'll see that there's a little bit of deviation or, or difference across tones within the bag, um, but it's, it's very nice, very nice and supple leather. Um, you've got a couple of features which I'm gonna point out here in a bit. So first of all, the most obvious is this buckle clasp mechanism. It's a quick release, you can release it with one finger and easily open the bag which will um, show you the nice little embossed logo here, as well as this wet molded pocket. Um, so really nice stuff. If you wanna put this back, you kinda have to use two hands for that, but it snaps back into place really easily. Over here on the side, you've got a really nice touch, really nice feature, which is an ID tab, which actually has a kind of a dog tag with your personal information printed on it. So if for whatever crazy reason you decide to leave this bag somewhere, somebody hypothetically could be a nice citizen and return this to you. Um, overall, I am very pleased with this bag, very pleased with the company um, in terms of you know sending me what I expected and working with me, so I can't say enough about them. Um, they also, because I'm a traveling consultant, they put this lovely little strap. This was this is not something that comes with the bag. I, I asked for it. They did it free of charge, um, and I can now put this on my rollerboard and and walk onto a plane with it. So really nice stuff. Um, all of the hardware is high quality brass. Uh, no fear that this stuff is gonna fall apart on me. Um, this truly feels like a bag that I could use for decades, and, and to the name, I could pass it down to my children, as the name indicates. So let's open this up and take a look at the inside. So again, quick release clasp. And as I look in, I've fully loaded this with everything that I would use on my travels. So lots of different compartments in here. Um, it's a little stiff because it's a new bag, but you can see that I don't even have it full. And I've got just about everything I would need on one of my travels. So let's start taking a look at what's in here. So I've got my laptop, my Surface. Little headphone pouch. In here I've got my Surface Pen, so we'll pull that out. Within each one of these main compartments, there is a nice little buckle that holds things in. So you can kind of stuff it in there if you'd like and it will uh, maintain its shape. And open this other side. And within this other side, I'll start pulling out. Notebook. Another notebook. Got my field notes. A nice little pen there. Going in further, got my charging uh, pack. Got my mouse. I have my Happy Hacking keyboard. 
I've got, of course, my charger for my Surface. I have all of my peripherals and cables. And then finally, I've got some pens here on the side. Pull those guys out. And whoops, one last thing, a little mini charger. So that's all that it holds. Um, really nice size. Um, internally, you can see that it's got some nice compartments. So here's my main compartment, followed by another large one. Two inner pockets here. You've got one side pocket right here, and then a double pen holder, along with a key leash chain. We flip this bad boy around. I then have a back pocket, which is nice for any kind of documents. Uh, I keep my mints in there, along with a couple of necessities for travel, which is my uh, chapstick and eye drops. And that's all I've got in there. Um, Love this bag, love it, love it, love it. So in terms of the size, I think it's just perfect. Uh, the uh, strap here has a really nice felt padding on it. Very nice touch. You can see it's got the uh, leathershop.com on here. I'm sure you can see that. Um, the size is perfect for me. So one of the things that I require is that I'm able to open this quickly on the fly while I'm traveling. So as I'm walking down the uh, runway, what have you, I can actually open this bag, reach in, grab something. That works perfectly. Um, so far, I've only had this bag about a week. Haven't really had to travel with it. So I need to see what it's gonna be like putting under the seat. I think it may be too tall. May need to go in like this, not a big concern. Um, the handle is one of those things which I'm, I'm starting to like more, but it's really, if you can see, just a piece of leather. Let's see if we can focus on that. So just a piece of leather on this, and because of that, uh, kind of feels a little flimsy, uh, but it fits nicely in the hand. It actually contours to your hand, so that's very nice. Um, I almost would have liked it for it to be more solid. It feels like maybe this will one day come off, like just rip off, um, but that's just my paranoia. Um, the other thing that I have seen is that on the strap, there is starting to be some cracking here around the edges. So if you can see that, the leather actually where it holds up on the buckle is starting to crack. So that's something to watch out for. I think uh, with a little conditioning, it may just go away eventually um, or kind of blend in. I hope that it doesn't actually just rip entirely through. Um, so if you are in the market for a bag, this one is a great one. It's gonna be a little more expensive than your just general bag, but I am confident that this guy is going to last me a lifetime. So overall, big thumbs up, highly recommend to take a look at these guys, uh, theleathershop.com.